Hey guys, if you're here for the action in this video, jump to whatever time it says right down here. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll put it in when I'm editing. And that's where the fun stuff starts. But then come back and watch the rest of it too. And, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks. Good morning. Guess what? It didn't rain again. We've got another beautiful sunny day and it's supposed to be raining right now. I'm starting to get a little more concerned every time we miss rain that we're getting into a serious drought here, but we're gonna keep going. So I'm doing a little maintenance. We got some sweeps, shovels, whatever you wanna call them that we're changing out here. I gotta go get some more new ones out of our storage. And um, we got some chains to fix on our drag. So um, we're, yeah, morning maintenance. Phil's over there doing the same to the disc, greasing and stuff and making sure everything's ready to go. Dad already went to Berkey. He's running down there. Hopefully he'll finish down there with what he's got to do before it starts raining today. Assuming it starts raining today. Okay, that field cultivator is good to go. I had a couple of broken chains, a couple more that we're going to break today if I didn't change them, I think, because they were awfully worn. So, um, got that all done, put back together. I could fold it up, but Brock is here. He is going to drive this tractor today. And um, he has run the disc, obviously ran it the other day and some last fall, but he has not driven this tractor in the field at all. Uh, this is the 8R since we switched from the 8430 over there. And so I'm going to take it down to the field, get him set up, make a couple rounds, and then I'll come back and get back in that one. You guys notice that spot? That's where Dad and I cut them trees down that one day. Dad was working along this edge of the woods. Uh, doing some endros here. You getting the hang of this? We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah. It's the wrong answer. Alright, I think he can handle it. I think he likes driving stuff where he can go fast. So He's going to finish this little bit here. All we got to do is get to the point. Phil had most of this field done yesterday. And then uh, we're going to jump across the road over there and do that field. Um, I'm going to go jump in the field cultivator, keep that moving. Okay, here is our field that we're going to start with today. There is a little over 47 acres here, so probably take us an hour and a half would be my guess. It'll be about lunchtime after that. Get my line all set up and we are good to go. Okay. Moving across here. This field's kind of a pain because it's got this big low spot right in the middle that we have to farm around. And so there's some short rows back here. There's another little spot over by that tree over there that cuts it up, but um, it, it'll be fine. So we're almost done here. Just a little ways to go and do some end rows and then we'll get out of here. What time is it? 11.13. So I'll probably stop and get the farm and grab some lunch. Before we head to the next field because the next field is on the other direction from the farm which is just half a mile over there the other day dad told me he had all his logs picked up <laughs> looks like he's cut so many of them he can't even remember where they're all at uh, there's just one there but okay lunch time so i noticed yesterday that this uh, cord was hanging down here a little bit so i just went and got some zip ties to tie it back up and then there was two other zip ties that were here and i touched them and they fell off so i guess i get to go get some more and better test these ones these ones are bigger i think they'll be okay usually the black ones are good it's the white ones that don't have any uv protection to them and that tend to get brittle but all right, we can get a couple more. All right, it's not pretty because I didn't clip them, but they're fine. Um, since Brock's running the disc today, Phil is hauling corn back to that job. I don't know how much more he's got to do, especially for this month, but apparently there's some. Okay, to the next field. This field is a, uh, a field that was corn last year, but it's the one that we're going to go corn on corn with. So that's why we descript it last fall, and we're going to fit it down now, get it ready to plant corn. Um, it also happens to be 
right across the road from where we planted some beans a week ago yesterday. So, we're going to have to go look at our beans is what I'm saying. So, let's take a walk over here and see what things look like. I really hope they're not coming up yet. It wouldn't surprise me as warm as it's been, but uh, I hope not. I think right here is my first pass. I started three passes off the line. So yeah, it looks like right here's my first row. So what do we got here? They're not poking through yet. That is good. Still nice and crumbly dirt here because we haven't really had any rain. There is some moisture down there though. Oh, right there. You can see it swelled up pretty good. And if you see just right there, you can see the shoot coming off. They're growing. Fortunately, he's still got a long ways to go. That's a good thing. So the reason that I'm not real uh, anxious to get these beans out of the ground is because when they are under the ground like this, they are protected from temperature swings. That's one of the reasons that we planted them fairly deep. Usually beans will plant an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half deep at the deepest. And I tried to plant these ones at two inches because less temperature variation at two inches deep in the soil than there is at an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. Um, Beans are very susceptible to frost once they are out of the ground. If they get frosted um, or a hard frost, they aren't going to live through it. And so I really don't want these to come up until the end of April. Yeah, that looks great. It started, but it's got a long ways to go. Um... I don't want them to come up until the end of April because that's when we're less likely to get a killing frost. Up until that point, it's still a real possibility. Last year, I should look up the actual date, but it was towards the second weekend in May when we had a killing frost. And while my beans that uh, I had hand planted last year were coming out of the ground when we got that frost, they were still closed together. They hadn't opened up the leaves yet, so the growing point was still just a little bit protected and it, it kept them from dying. Um, could be that if it was one or two days later, they, they wouldn't have made it. I don't know, but they did. And that's what gave me the confidence to try this. So we'll see what happens with them. Um, like I said, I'm getting a little concerned that they were growing too fast and, and they were gonna come up in a week or two and then the likelihood of getting a frost on them is much higher. So, okay, so far so good. So, uh, We've, uh, we've been talking about channel sponsorship stuff a little bit the last couple days. Uh, if, if you missed it two days ago, go watch that video or my live stream yesterday. But um, I, I thought of a good non-ag company that I, I would gladly take a sponsorship from. Anybody from um, at Dr. Pepper Company? I mean, free product, anything. I would gladly, I'll show it off all day. This cream soda stuff? Which is pretty good. 23 plus one flavors. Finishing the last pass of Endros in this first field. I think this one had like 65 acres in it. We've got roughly 35 or just shy of it in this next one. There was just under 100 acres in this uh, two fields here. So, doing good here. Brock is working in the field right next to us. I'll show you him when get closer and see him, but um, I gotta get my computer set up here. Okay, so we're rolling along here. Brock's over there. See that dust? That's Brock. Guys, this is not helping though. Do, 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 do you see that? Do you see it? That's a neighbor and that's a planter. Where are they going? What field? Where are they going? Oh crap, I gotta go get Planner. Dusty, you can't see it, it's dusty, but there they go, right? Past my field, like, you know, just no big deal that there's a planter going down the road. Oh, crap, I got, I got, uh, we gotta go 
I interrupt. It's time to plan. See, that's what I did to everybody else last week when I was out playing. <laughs> So Brock just called me. Brock's um Brock's over there. Oh, he doesn't like that I'm gonna share this and show you what's about to happen. But uh, um, Brock got stuck. It is as dry as it has ever been, and Brock managed to get stuck. So we gotta go back to the farm. We're gonna grab some chains and the 8430 because I don't wanna unhook this. And we get to go pull him out. So if I had chains, we would just take this over there and, and do it, but I, I don't have anything to pull with, so... <laughs> oh, yep, this one's going to be fun. Actually, before we go home and get the other tractor, I have an idea. We're going to go back and see how it looks, how bad he is. I might be able to unhook the disc where it sits, drive the tractor out, use this tractor to pull it through because this tractor will float and do a lot better than the one he's driving. So... This is gonna be fun. He went right through the heart of it. Like didn't even go in from the edges, just right through the middle. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I hit the edge over there. There are, there are endros here for a reason. Somebody did mow this. I will give you that. It does look like somebody mowed it. There used to be cattails through here. Well, they have a blown in. Them aren't because we planted it here. Okay. Okay, it's wet. Driest spring we've ever had. <laughs> oh, he, he feels pretty <laughs> new tight. He should have got new tires. Yeah, he feels pretty bad right now, but I'm gonna make a fortune off of this on YouTube, so I don't really care. It'll be all right. We'll get it out. Um, question is, can we get it unhooked and hooked up to the other tractor if we can switch them? And can I get that one in here and pull it straight through? We almost made it. We almost made it. Full send. Full send. <laughs> All right. Well, we are not going to be able to get that tractor out because I'm afraid if I unhook it, I won't be able to get it back hooked up because I can't raise the jack up or the, uh, the tongue up to get it onto the drawbar. So we are just going to go and uh, get some chains. I think we're gonna leave this field cultivator here, just take the tractor, use it, and we'll just hook it back up when we're done. Well, I thought this was gonna be a boring video, too. You guys are lucky today. All right, so we're gonna back in here and try and pull this forward. I think it's gonna go better forward than back because he's almost through it. And we'll start climbing here pretty quick. So uh, we'll get everything hooked up, get you guys um, briefed and then give her a shot. All right, so here's where we're at. This disc is gonna pull very hard, but there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, It'll make it through it. So there are some loops on this front axle that are meant to be pulled on right there. You notice the chain emblem. So I've wrapped a chain around both of them and I've tried to double all the chains up to give us a little bit more strength because I know the chains are my weak point. I know chains are dangerous. Chains are what we have. I know you're all gonna tell me to get them yank them rope. This is what we've got, it'll be fine. All right, so I've given him some instructions. We're gonna tighten these chains up and then give it a nice, slow, steady pull. And uh, hopefully he pops right out of there, but we'll see how it goes. We're gonna back it way down to first gear. I told him two miles an hour and just let me pull, but make sure you're, you're moving. So uh, GoPro footage, because I'm not holding the camera while I'm doing it.
Well, it's proving to be more difficult than I thought. After two broken chains, we decided we had to unhook the disc anyway. I got the tractor out. It was a little more difficult than that needed to be. Now, we have to figure out how to get that out. And I don't think I can back in here and hook up to it with the big tractor, so this is going to be difficult. This is... We may have to get the backhoe. Okay, so I had thought about trying to pull that with a chain to see if we could get it to move. I decided that was a bad idea because um, it, we had to kind of pull it on an angle to stay out of the ruts, and that was going to be a lot of tension, and if that chain broke, it would be bad. So... We're gonna go get the backhoe. We're gonna dig some of the mud out so that it doesn't have so much resistance. We're gonna get some dry dirt, pack it down in front of it, make a pad, and then we're gonna back the tractor back in there and pull the thing out that way. Done this before. Um, after you fight with things for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then you finally are like, all right, let's do it the right way, and it works. The next time it happens, you're like, you know what? Let's not even screw with the wrong way. Let's just go straight to the right way. So I have done this before is what I'm saying. Fortunately, Dad had to backhoe down here just, just down the road from where we're working. So I drop Brock off there, he's gonna bring it. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna just dig a little bit of this dirt out of there. I'm never gonna get to the bottom of it because it's mud all the way down. Uh, and then we're gonna go up on the hill somewhere, scrape some dry dirt out and just keep packing it and layering it in there. So, but I gotta get it leveled up and down a little bit. We've, uh, we've built ourselves a pad here. I'm gonna try and back the tractor on it and see how it feels in the tractor, but hopefully it's firm enough that we can back in here and hook onto that and have enough traction moving forward. What we don't have is the giant ruts that were, were the tractor was having to climb up a hill. So um, it should be better, it should be better. We'll see. All right, we're in. My one side's sinking, but the other side and the front are okay. So we're gonna see what happens here. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, not good, not good. in their 
digging big ruts is our problem right now. There it goes. Oh gosh, oh gosh, please nothing break. Okay, we're out. Let's go out and inspect everything, make sure nothing's broke. See what everything looks like. Mud, we've certainly got mud. We've got lots of mud. Everything on the disc looks okay, I hope. Those mainframe tires, yeah, are packed full of mud. A lot of that stuff will fall out. A lot of it Brock's gonna have to pick out. Um, but everything made it through. I don't see anything that looks broken, tweaked, anything like that, so. Um, yeah, yup, yup, mud is what it is here side same story just got mud packed and everything okay I had Brock run the backhoe back up to the road while I run this just for a half a pass here to make sure that everything is okay uh, it all seems to be everything looks like it's working all right we got some mud flying off here and there so um, yeah let's see Rock called me at 3.09 to tell me that he was stuck. It is 5.04 right now, which means we lost two hours. So, um, and we broke two chains, but that's no big deal. So, it's not the end of the world. I'd be a little bit more frustrated and irritated if it was May 25th or whatever today is instead of March 25th, 26th. Um, it's part of the learning process. I'm not mad at Brock. It, it's, like I said, this is not the first time I've done it. It's not the first time I've done it with somebody that we've hired to drive tractor for us. So it happens. Uh, he had never been on this farm. He didn't know that spot was there. Uh, we have always farmed around it for as long as I can remember. But um, he, he didn't know that. And somebody had mowed it last fall, so the grass and the weeds weren't super tall, which made it hard to tell. So, um, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. It'll be fine. What did we learn today, Brock? If it's wet, don't skip a pass and drive through it. Right. I, did I tell you guys that? So what Brock got Brock into trouble here is that we're doing skip passes, right? Same thing I'm doing with the field cultivator, so you don't have to turn so tight on the end. Well, he did a pass right on the edge of the wet hole that was fine, and then he skipped a pass. And when he skipped the pass, it put him right in the middle of it, in the heart. If you're going around wet holes, you always got to work the edges to see, is it firm or not? Because most of the time... If it's getting too wet, you'll start spinning and you'll still be able to bail out and escape before you get stuck uh, as long as you're not in the middle of it. And he went right through the middle of it. So, do you want to hear a story about this spot though? Sure. So, we've never farmed this spot. But, back in 2004 when we bought our 9300 tractor, the first time we ever had a big four-wheel drive articulated, like, like wherever that one is, with big wide floater tires on it, my dad decided he could chisel through that spot. Guess what happened to him? He got stuck. He got stuck. So it's happened here before. It's not a big deal. We'll, uh, we'll be fine. You did, however, make me get my hand all muddy, and that I'm not very happy about. Eh, it happens. Full send? Full send? You can make it. No. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get this hooked back up. And uh, then we'll be back to finishing our field. It's only gonna take us about a half an hour. It's gonna take Brock a little longer to finish here. Okay, we are good to go. He should be fine. Oh yeah, mud's already falling out of them tires. Is he gonna go right in front of me or are you gonna wait for me? We're going. Okay, back to our field over here. It was fortunate that we were working right next to each other and that, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was not that hard to do. So, um, 
Hope you enjoyed that one. Well, these corn stalk fields don't work out quite as pretty as the uh, bean stubble and wheat stubble fields that we're in, but um, it's good. We're done here. Kind of fun working side by side with Brock over there, but uh, he'll hopefully get that finished up. He's got a little ways to go, probably two hours yet, I would say, and he'll be done there. So we are headed back to the farm. I believe I'm done with the field cultivator, at least for tonight. Um, we'll see what else is going on once we get there. All right, I fueled it up let it cool down um, I'm gonna pull the air filter we're gonna see if we can clean it out that's why I hate this style of air filter because they're so difficult to clean but I'll show you it's dirty Ooh, and heavy so it's not like a what I would call a regular air filter where you can blow air from the center out to get the dirt out of all of them and it's plugged look at that it's bad shape but this filter's got I don't know what if I put 30 hours on this tractor and it's it was a brand new filter like that's crap so we're gonna try the lightly tappy tap tap method and see if we can get some dirt to fall out of it well it's lighter I got a bunch of dirt out of it I don't know how much better it'll work I'm gonna get the air compressor and blow what I can well there's dirt coming out of it It's better. We'll get an extra 100 horsepower out of it now. I'll put it back in, we'll see. It shouldn't yell at me anymore, it'll last for a while. Well, there's the rain. I would say we might get a little bit at Berkey, but we ain't gonna get nothing here that's gonna amount to anything. Which is a bummer, again, but oh well. All right, well, I am gonna go home here pretty quick. By now, you guys already know that I'm gonna title this video something clever, something that's gonna grab, grab your attention, and um, it may or may not copy another famous YouTube farmer that had a video blow up when they titled it similarly, so sorry for copying, but hopefully it works and I get tons of views on this video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see what's going on tomorrow. It depends on this rain and whether or not we get any. Um, I have plenty to do. I really hope it rains because I have so much other stuff to do. Um, but we are getting to the point where it's like we've probably got enough done that we don't need to do much more right now. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, hit that like and subscribe button, please. And um, buttons, both of them, if you haven't, you know, already. And questions and comments, leave them down below. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.